My name is Spencer Popinga. I'm the strength conditioning coach and equipment manager with the Waterloo Blackhawks. I strive every single day on uh, being a pro, building a pro, um, being consistent, and I feel like being accountable, being accountable for these guys where there's no questions asked. Good. Shoulders square to where you started. I really feel like I build a trust with the guys where they come in here and they know that it's for their benefit every single day. It's always for the purpose. Lead with that heel. Good. I'm definitely being around AHL teams or NHL teams. I've definitely learned how to be a pro. A professional standard that when you come in, it's nothing but work until you leave the door. But we'll work with, you know, you work with smile on your face. Sometimes it's a little hard and sometimes it's a little demanding, but if we weren't demanding you, we'd be doing you a disservice. Sled sprints. Sprint the length you push. Eyes up, take off. To become a pro, the biggest step is accountability. Eyes up, eyes up, push, push, push. Here in Waterloo is their first step and I'm their biggest teacher to really teach those type of things. Eyes up, eyes up. I have Spencer there. You know, he helps guys get to the next level. I was in Waterloo before the NHL Combine and Spencer was able to train me and Dylan Sandberg, another guy going to the Combine every day. And, um, you know, we are some of the best performers there in some of the events. And, just little things like that, taking time out of his day when the season is over to help us, you know, prepare for the next level. Good. Spence is probably one of the best resources we have here. Coming in three years ago, what I was doing in the weight room, physically what I was able to do is nothing compared to where I'm at now. Glued on, stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. We get all the resources we need and it's on us to use them. And that's kind of uh, Spence's idea for the most part is we have all the stuff we need to recover to take care of ourselves, we know how to do it, and, but we, at the end of the day, have to be the ones to do it. He can't make us do it every day. And I think that really sets up uh, the players here in the long run, because at the next level and the level after that, no one's gonna be forcing you to do this stuff. You gotta take care of it yourself. So if you learn it early, it's, it's a great resource. I've seen the growth in, in just the guys that we've had this year uh, working with Spencer, and he puts a lot of thought and time into helping them develop plans for workouts. Really no stone is left unturned, and uh, I think he does a wonderful job pushing these guys. If you walk into the Water of the Blackhawks locker room before a game night, it is identical to what would happen if you walk into an NHL locker room or to a high-level Division I college hockey program. Spencer brings that level of professionalism to this organization. The other thing that Spencer is exceptional at doing is helping players make that transition from being youth hockey players to junior hockey players and focusing on what they need to do off ice from a skills development perspective, from a training perspective, so that they recognize that training is a lifelong endeavor. The players in Waterloo are very fortunate to be exposed to someone who's at the very top of his game. Coach is so focused. We take care of our guys to a really high standard. You know, whether it be our supplements, our, our travel, um, our apparel, their equipment needs, that pro atmosphere of always having clean uniforms, the right skates, properly fitted equipment. You know, I'm a biomechanic guy, so realizing that skate profiling and sharpening can play a huge, huge factor on hips, making sure that there's not any added stressors, just making sure they have a good sharp and we're expecting guys to go out and play out on the ice and get what they're all at top speed. It's a lot easier for them to do that when they have something on their feet that they trust. I've been here nine years. Most people would say, what are you still doing here? My love and passion for strength conditioning is developing and teaching. We are here to ultimately develop them into not only good hockey players, really good people, even better people when they move on and have families. The rest of their life.